The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to update its mask guidance as early as next week. The agency is considering a new benchmark for whether masks are needed, a decision that would be based on the level of severe disease and hospitalizations in a given community. Right now, many central Ohio communities, including Columbus, require masks be worn indoors. NBC4's Eric Halperin has been looking into this. He's live downtown, so Columbus might be dropping the mandate at some point, right? Colleen, the question still out there is when exactly is the city planning to do this? The mayor and the city have given some rough ideas, but no exact date. Walking around Columbus, signs about the mask requirement are hard to miss, still posted on many businesses. But in a matter of weeks, the mandate could be a thing of the past. It's been a long time, so I just, you know, Hopefully the numbers are in the right direction and we can get to a little more freedom without masks and stuff like that. Tim and Susan Mager say they're looking forward to when Columbus drops the indoor mask mandate. Capital city leaders are discussing doing just that. Ready for nice weather and, and <laughs> no masks. No masks. <laughs> Columbus, Bexley, Whitehall and Worthington all still require masks inside. On Tuesday, leaders from those cities met with Columbus Public Health and Franklin County Public Health to discuss getting rid of the requirements. Some say even if that happens, they'll keep masking up inside. So it's scary, I feel like we should keep our mask on. I mean, some, I mean, it should be, I guess it could be optional, but I say I feel like we should keep our mask on just for the kids' sake and everyone else. A tweet from the city of Columbus explains if COVID-19 numbers keep improving, the cities which met Wednesday expect to consider lifting mask requirements in the coming weeks. In a press release, Mayor Andrew Ginther said, we look forward to lifting mask requirements in the very near future. I think a lot of people at this point do what they're going to do, regardless of what comes out. And here in Columbus, City Council will have to vote to officially end the indoor mask mandate. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.